Hey everyone, today on the corner, we're gonna upgrade our KP3S. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, I'm Jeff, welcome back. Today, we're gonna discuss some upgrades for this KP3S King Groon sub $200, almost 150 bucks US, really, printer. Um, I've had it for a little bit now, I've been playing around with it, I've gotten some really good prints off of it, but I've also noticed a couple of shortcomings with it that we're going to try to address here. There's a couple of mods I'm going to do today. I'm going to um, try to address a few issues like the fans. Here's an example of the current fans are 30 mil fans. And this is a overhang test. We're going to see if we can get that better by installing some better fans. Um, and the other thing is the volume of the fans. So let's see if we can actually get them a little bit quieter. So I'm going to replace the hot end fan with a 40 mil fan, 40 by 40 by 10. And then we're going to put a blower on the, um, the cooling fan and we're going to see how that works. I'm going to link part descriptions down below in the description. Um, you don't have to get those specific parts. You can get them from whatever vendor you want. I'm not getting any affiliate links or anything off of this stuff, but it's just to give you an idea of the parts that I'm using. Another thing that absolutely drives me crazy with this printer, or actually with a lot of printers, is the uh, micro SD and the micro SD slot. Um, so many times have I put the micro SD in only to have it fall into the, in, 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 the great beyond of the internals of the printer, where I've had to take the bottom off and get the card out. So we're going to put a little bit of a fix on that. Um, also... The whole color scheme here. We got the red, we got the black and the orange, and then we got these ugly yellow knobs. Um, I'm going to put some orange knobs on there to sort of tie it all in. So stay tuned because there's a lot to do. <laughs> right. Okay, so this is our KP3S, and this is our hot end cooling fan. And this is our part cooling fan over here. So what my plan is, is that I have a, a 30 mil to 40 mil bracket. I'll put the links below to all these parts in Thingiverse. But we're going to put this over here. Put this over here. So we have a 40 mil cooling fan on there. And then um, we have this part here that will be able to attach a blower fan on. And we're just going to move the cooling fan from this side to this side and we'll have the blower fan on there. So that's our first step of this upgrade. So with these two, I'm hoping I see an improvement. Here is the overhang test that I did with the original equipment. I'm gonna put, replace these two fans um, and then I'm gonna run this test again. But I'll have to, because when I ran this test the first time, I ran it this way so the part cooling fans on this side so it was cooling towards you know this way here right so with the part cooling fan on this side when i run this g code again what i'll have to do is i'll have to swap it around so i get a more non-biased result so with all that said let's start the modifications okay first thing we're going to do is we need to trace our wires and figure out where they are going to be going on the board. So I'm just going to take off these little pieces of Velcro for now. And we'll put those aside. Actually, I have a here. I have a bin over here that I have all the parts in. That um, whenever I do a project like this, I try to do all my printed parts, get all my screws and everything all in the same area. So it makes it a lot easier to... Um, you know, find everything, right? So just a little quick tip, try to keep all your, your, your keep all your crap together, people.
me as if I figure out how the heck of okay. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to see me doing here is, because I've grabbed the Sharpie, I'm going to mark the port for the part cooling fan. So this way, when I put this back together, I'm going to know that the part cooling fan is the one port and the hot end fan is another port. Because the hot end fan is always on, whereas the part cooling fan only comes on when you tell it to. And now, simply because of the fact that uh, my fan wires are too short, I have to set up my soldering station in order to extend those wires. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. I'm going to be soldering the wires. Uh, I'm a lousy solderer, so I don't think... I'm pretty sure I didn't record this, which is fine. Um, so we'll move on to the next step. So fans are done. I did have to solder um, a little bit. And I used um, a DuPont connector kit in order to get the ends proper. So that's all done. We're going to clean up a little bit here. Now we're going to move on to the next phase. So just putting the sucker back together. So as I begin to reassemble the hot end, it's always a good idea to have a um, spare set of screws. Uh, M3s, M2s, M4s, M5s. You can get random kits readily available on AliExpress or Amazon. I have a couple of random kits of various screw sizes. Just for projects like this, I needed to use a couple of extra M3 screws in order to mount the blower fan. So as I say, it's always a good idea to have a few extra in your inventory. And same thing now, when I am installing the hot end fan modification, I am um, using a few extra screws that I had in my kit, and, and then I will install the, um, the 4010 fan onto the hot end, and I'm almost done. And here you kind of see me, because I got a little bit out of frame, getting some wire management done. I'm just attaching the wires together with some zip ties. I'm not going to put the um, the shield on top of the wires as of yet because I do have other plans for upgrades after this mod is done. So we're getting there. We're almost done. This is the last bit. We're just buttoning it up now. Record. All right. So I got her buttoned up and powered on. I've gone into the settings and turned on the part cooling fan. So I know that's working and the other fan's working, and I can tell you right now, there's a noticeable volume difference between those cheaper fans and these cheaper fans. <laughs> like, uh, maybe the bigger size, but these are just quieter. The ones that came with it are really loud, so I'm actually, this is not bad at all. I'm actually really enjoying this moment of silence that we are having currently. I think it's um, doing much better as far as the uh, volume of the printer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reprint this G-code for the overhang test with the same filament and see if there's going to be a difference. So this was the before, put that right there, and we'll do it after now. Um, now again, I might have to re-level my bed and all that stuff because I've just ripped this apart and put it back together. So it'll take me a little bit. So I won't film me doing this right now, but I'll try and get a little bit of footage of it printing. So here we go. So, I'm about, um, where am I? Almost 50 degrees up on the uh, new print that I've turned around. Um, let's have a look at um, the old print here. So, we're getting there. I think, actually, I can tell that the new print is looking a bit better. 
I can't get you a good view right now, but I think it's not too bad. So these are the bed leveling knobs I downloaded off of Thingiverse. Again, I'll leave the link below. Um, however, I noticed that they weren't either threaded or they didn't have an M3 hex bolt in them and I didn't want to take apart the original bed leveling knobs to get the brass or metal insert out to put into these so I figured I would just drill them out and once I did that I would just pull the uh, hex nut through with a bolt And then now it's just a simple matter of replacing all of the wheels. So I just unscrew them. And you will just put on the uh, new replacement uh, beautiful orange wheel. And we are good to go. After leveling the bed of course, which is what we'll have to do after we have all the wheels on. And this little sucker here is going to save me a great deal of frustration. This is for the SD card and I'm going to slide this puppy right underneath here. And now the SD card cannot fall in. Done. Everyone, it's the next day now. Wearing a different shirt. I shaved. I've had my coffee. Good. All right. So what we've done is that we've done the fan exchange. Um, we've replaced the knobs, purely aesthetic. I just didn't like the, um, the yellow just didn't go with the printer in my opinion. And we did this fantastic little thing that will um, save me some pain, frustration, heartache, is we printed that little um, space gap filler for the SD card. Again, I'll post all the links for all the parts I used below. As you saw, um, there is, hang on, um, I've used these with my other printers, and what this is, is an SD to, uh, or micro SD to SD card adapter, which you would slide in and you'd never have to touch this again. I just didn't quite know where I was going to place this. So this might be a part of a future project, but for now, I'm okay with this being that gap filler, so at least I know my little SD card isn't going to fall into the abyss of the innards of the printer. But um, let's talk about the upgrades. Um, so again, the wheels, I only needed M3 nuts. Uh, you saw what I did. Um, I had to drill them out a little bit because the, uh, the model I downloaded off of Thingiverse, um, I didn't want to take the interior out of these ones to put them in the other ones. Um, in the future, maybe I'll just uh, model a, an M3 outline for a nut in the base of these and then just re-upload it to Thingiverse. I haven't gotten there yet. Um, the next thing was, as I said, the SD card reader, which was great. It worked fantastic. And finally, the most expensive thing, which is going to cost you maybe five, ten bucks, is to upgrade the two fans here. Now, those two fans made a world of difference. The machine is quiet. Like I can talk beside it now without having a jet airplane going off. Um, even with the, uh, hang on, let's see here. Let me put the uh, cooling fan on here. Settings, fan. That's with the cooling fan running now. Night and day from before, I'm telling you. Um, like it's great. Like I can actually work around this printer now. I don't have to lock it in the room and walk away. The uh, results too, I'll, I'll post some pictures, but they're pretty incredible. Um, the, the biggest difference is, as you can, let's see here, if we can focus, focus, focus. The one on the left is with the new fans. The one on the right is with the old fans. You can see huge difference there on the overhang, right? So you're going to get better prints with this too. So this is phase one of the upgrades for the KP3S here. Um, that's why I haven't put the harness back on or anything because I'm going to do a few more things. This is the most economical upgrade you can do to get the biggest bang for your buck um, without messing a whole bunch with your printer by simply replacing the fans. The SD card thing, it just it's costing you a bit of filament. 
Same with the knobs, a couple of, um, and that, this is purely aesthetic, this one. The SD card, um, I think it's practical, very practical, because I, I don't like micro SD cards at all for printers. It's just, they never seem to get the gaps right. I've had one, two, two different printers with the micro SD cards other than this one, and they've always been a pain in the butt. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so the fans are fantastic. Um, this would be the, uh, the level one upgrade, the most cheapest upgrade you can do. You can get the fans for a couple bucks off of AliExpress. I'll post a link down below. I'm sure you, you can get them off of Amazon for a little bit more, but get them to your door quicker. And going forward with this now, uh, I'm going to do a phase two or a level two upgrade, which will be replacing the current extruder with a BMG, um, dual gear extruder, and um, the hot end with a V6 hot end. I'll keep the same fans though. So I've already done the work for that. That's kind of why I haven't done this. And I'll also put a some form of auto leveling sensor on this machine. So yeah, those are the plans for the next video. I'm gonna try and get that done for you as soon as possible, as soon as my time allows. But um, if you like this video, you know, hit a thumbs up or a like down below. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. Until then, all right, everyone take care. Have a great 2021, hopefully, and peace out.